life, I just thought, well, what do I know about? What do I know so well that I wouldn't mind people asking me all kinds of questions about it? Hello, teacher friends. It's me, teacher Danny. So I have a few minutes in between classes, not enough time to get anything done. Um, you know, like chores. So I figured I would really quick talk about my out school classes that failed. And then at the end, I'll talk about the classes that I do teach. Um, but I think it's important to share, you know, that not everything that you thought was going to work works and that's okay. So first of all, the first class that came to my mind when I started thinking about out school was how to start a YouTube channel because my own son was like, well, it's confusing. And my best friend wants me to help her with hers. And it's really not hard if you've already done it and worked your way through it. And I jotted down all the things that I knew. And then I realized I didn't even want to teach that class. So then I never did create that class. And then I created what I thought was my little love child. It was all about plants and you know the things we get from plants kind of pulled from vip kid you know like plants give us clothes you know furniture food so that was my passion class i created that i taught it like one or two times and it just i kept listing it and it never took off and this is in the summer so then i did a couple from requests I did a My Little Pony discussion group. I had that a couple times. It was successful for a couple times and then never again. Um, I also did a bu painting butterflies class. I did that a couple times, two or three times. And it was fun, successful, but it just, I never got any requests for it. I listed it a couple more times to see, you know, fishing, nothing. So I'd call those pretty much a fail. Um, I did this ABC animal dance class and it just, I taught it one time, my friend's child came and another child came and it was just too much work. It was funny. So that was a fail. Um, then I have some that were randomly successful. I created a class about bees because someone requested it. And I'm no expert on bees, but I did some studying up, made a slideshow, um, brought in plants from the garden and that class did really well. Another class that I created that did well for a while but is not successful anymore is the power of positive thinking. I loved teaching that class and it has like 98 saves. So I might try to teach it again, maybe over the holidays. Um, you'd think it would be pretty popular right now. So I should list it. But I am doing mostly ongoing classes now. So let's see if I can share my screen with you. And so I teach um, advanced first and second grade math. Advanced reading practice is one of my popular classes. I don't get any for this Annabelle alphabet and letter writing. Um, I, I don't put it out there, but it is still listed. Now you can archive your classes. If you don't want them to be seen, you can unlist them and then you can archive and like file them away. So if you're not teaching something, do that so that parents don't keep requesting it. Um, also, I have a beginner math skills class that does well. Beginner reading group does well. I'm not teaching ESL. I taught it a few times and it has 25 saves, as you can see. So you can kind of gauge by the amount of saves that you have. Um, this doesn't have any saves, advanced or extreme animals, so not so good there. That didn't, that didn't ever take off. I actually have a request for it right now, but um, okay. Then we have, I should take this one off first grade math practice because I have it as ongoing, but it has a lot of saves. And my thought is that'll bring people to me if they want that and they'll, they'll get the weekly one, the ongoing one or I can give them the link if they request this class. All right, here's my fun with plants. Oh, so sad. It was advertised on Facebook. So I keep it up there. Hawaii summer camp, I taught that one time. I might do it again next summer. This one's popular, Hawaii celebrations, that's fun. This one, not so much, Hawaii's fun activities. I wish I could teach about that all day. 
Um, introduction to Hawaiian language has got a lot of saves there. And here's that latest buzz about bees. Yeah, so randomly successful class. All right, and then I've just created a new Hawaiian language class, commonly used words. Um, here's that little, my little pony discussion group. This how to make a lay, I've never taught it, nobody ever wanted it. Here's the painting butterflies class. And then I have my PE classes, which are successful. Look at this, physical education for elementary students, 226 saves. So I keep that up, even though I now teach it as a weekly class, because like I said, if they find me through that, um, they can find my weekly class. And that one has 70 saves. And here you can see my power of positive thinking has 91 saves. And then, yes, my stretching class actually has a lot of saves. That's a newer one that is a one-time class. And then I have my two tutoring classes up here. So yeah, those are my classes. And then I have archived, like I said, I've archived a few. Um, that I'm just not teaching, I don't wanna teach anymore. So if you, you know, be encouraged that you never know what's gonna take off. I didn't think the Hawaiian class would take off. I just thought, well, what do I know about? What do I know so well that I wouldn't mind people asking me all kinds of questions about it? And that was Hawaii. And then stepping into the beginning math and reading. Well, I was teaching reading at VIP Kids, so I already knew how to do that. I was teaching math at my local school and just going back to basics with, you know, basic addition and subtraction and tricks to make that fun. So whatever you're doing in life or doing with your kids, just make a class about it. You can even try it out on your kids or I don't know. So I hope you feel encouraged that I've created a lot of classes and they're not all successful. But the ones that are, pay attention to those, go with it. Um, listen to what the parents are requesting. If they want ongoing classes, just make an ongoing class. It's really not that big of a commitment. If you decide that you don't want to teach that class anymore, you don't have to. It doesn't mean it's forever. You know, ongoing can be a little intimidating. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. I've got a class in a few minutes. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.